mathematician spiders. Compared to their own sizes, spiders build very large webs. Indeed, if we enlarged a spider to the size of a human being, the length of the web it weaves would be approximately 150 meters, which corresponds to a 50-story skyscraper. Is it possible for a human being to weave a lacework the size of a 50-story skyscraper in only an hour? But a tiny spider accomplishes much more than that. Moreover, the spider-woven web is the sturdiest material in the world. How do spiders weave these webs possessing miraculous features? The spider takes into consideration many factors while weaving a web hundreds of times larger than its own size. This task demands at least some calculations essential in constructing a building. For the accomplishment of this work, first the spider must draw a project like an architect for a construction of this size, design, and sturdiness cannot be accomplished without an architectural project. Once the project is drawn, the spider must calculate the lifting capacity of each part of the web like an engineer, otherwise the web cannot remain suspended. In order to design such a web and make such delicate calculations, the spider must be more qualified than a college graduate. Indeed, there is not a university that provides education to the offspring. Following their birth, they begin to produce silk, weave webs, and hunt, because Allah creates the spider. It is Almighty Allah who grants this tiny creature its amazing features. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. This is Allah's creation. Show me then what those besides him have created. The wrongdoers are clearly misguided. Now let's see how the spider weaves its web. The part where the spider spins its silk is in its back part. It holds and pulls the silk it secretes from a special gland. The adhesive drops on the thread are in fact thread bundles in the form of balls. These open when necessary and the web easily stretches. This thread can stretch four times more than its own length. It is so light that a thread that encloses the equator three times over weighs only one kilogram. The spider first releases the silk it produces and then attaches it to a certain point by the help of air current. The spider weaves its web in less than an hour. This is the time lapse of this process, which takes place at a rate of 60. The spider first installs sturdy and tight lines extending from the center to the periphery. Then, drawing circles from the periphery to the center, it furnishes an adhesive and flexible web made of fibers. Spiders weave their webs in compliance with the arithmetic spiral known as the Archimedes spiral. The Archimedean spiral, which is named after the 3rd century BC Greek mathematician Archimedes, consists of spirals that move away from the center with a constant separation distance. The spider's web with successive turnings of the spiral with constant separation distance is a typical example of the Archimedean spiral in nature. This point deserves attention. Millions of years ago, when Archimedes was still unborn, spiders used to weave their webs in compliance with this mathematical calculation, just like a mathematician with no education at all. The spider silk is five times sturdier than steel of the same thickness. Indeed, if a spider that could construct a web with a width of 50 meters had existed, this web would have been as strong as being able to stop a jumbo jet. Taking the spiders as an example, scientists developed a special material called Kevlar. Kevlar is used in the construction of armor plates, in cables used in aircraft carriers to stop landing aircraft, 
in space technology, and in every walk of life that demands sturdiness. Spider silk, on the other hand, is ten times stronger than Kevlar. Spider silk is a miraculous material. It is thinner than hair, lighter than wool, and stronger than steel. It is the most resistant material in the world. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. The seven heavens and the earth and everyone in them glorify him. There is nothing which does not glorify him with praise, but you do not understand their glorification. He is all forbearing, ever forgiving. You are now watching a spider specimen fossilized in amber together with its web. The 25 million year old spider and its web are exactly the same as spiders and their webs living in our day. This fossil is also one of the evidences revealing that living beings have not changed for millions of years. By way of fossils, science proves that an evolutionary process has never taken place and reveals that all living forms are created by Allah.